In this session, I'm going to explain about conductors, insulators, and semiconductors. As we know, solid state materials are classified into three groups. Those are conductors, insulators, and semiconductors. Let us see one by one in detail according to band theory of solids. First, let us see what are conductors. These are the substances through which electricity can flow. Such kind of substances are known as conductors. And its conductivity is ranging between 10 to the power 4 to 10 to the power 7 per ohm per meter. Copper, aluminium, gold, silver, these are all some of the examples for conductors. A conductor may conduct electricity through the movement of electrons or ions. Conductivity of any metal depends upon the number of valence electrons available per atom. In conductors, by the application of electric field, conduction band and the valence band are overlapped. We can see in this figure, when the voltage is applied, the conduction band and the valence band gets overlapped. So that electrons can easily jump from field valence band to empty conduction band and hence metal shows conductivity. Next let us see about insulators. These are the substances through which electricity cannot flow. Such type of substances are known as insulators. These are the solids whose conductivity is ranging between 10 to the power minus 20 to 10 to the power minus 10 per ohm per meter. Glass, plastic, rubber, wood, these are all the examples for insulators. In insulators, the energy gap between the valence band and the unoccupied conduction band is large. We can see here the energy gap between the valence band and the conduction band is large. Hence, electron cannot jump from here to empty conduction band. Hence, these substances has very small conductivity and behaves as an insulators. Next, let us see about these are the materials whose electrical conductivity is between that of conductor and an insulator. And its conductivity ranges from 10 to the power minus 6 to 10 to the power 4 per ohm per meter. Silicon and germanium are the examples for semiconductors. In case of semiconductors, the energy gap between the valence band and the conduction band is small. We can clearly observe it here. This gap, this energy gap is small in case of semiconductor. Therefore, some electron may jump from field valence band to unoccupied conduction band and shows some conductivity. But this conductivity of semiconductor increases with rising temperature or by adding dopants. This is because when we increase the temperature or by adding the dopants, this energy gap becomes still small. So that more electrons can jump from here to unoccupied conduction band. Hence, the conductivity can be increases. So overall, by the application of electric field in case of conductors, the valence band and the empty conduction band gets overlap. So that electrons can easily jump from valence band to conduction band. Hence, the metal shows conductivity. In case of insulators, the energy gap between the valence band and the unoccupied conduction band is large. So that electrons cannot move from here to here. Hence, these substances has very small conductivity. But in case of semiconductors, the energy gap between the valence band and the unoccupied conduction band is small. Therefore, some electrons may jump from here to here and shows some conductivity. 